Pompeii was that ancient Roman city that got absolutely obliterated in 79 AD thanks to Mount Vesuvius having had enough of its shit and erupting molten rock all over the damn place for two straight days. And while most of us have very specific images in our mind when we picture the ancient Roman Empire, such as gladiators and early democracy and sexual deviancy, Pompeii was a city just like any other, with tons of random folks doing random things for no good reason at all. Case in point, Pompeii, as well as the lesser known but equally fucked up by Vesuvius city Herculaneum, are covered in ancient graffiti. And wouldn't you know it, it's eerily reminiscent of social media today. Strangers leaving records of the most random pointless things they can think of on the off chance that they'll catch the attention of a random stranger. To help fill the desperate need for attention void that they have in their lives. I want to read some of this graffiti to you because it's fucking hilarious. Oh, and just so you can follow along, a sesterty was one of the currencies of ancient Rome. If anyone sits here, let him read this first of all. If anyone wants a screw, he should look for a tice. She costs four sesterti. Everyone knows the most important thing when you find a comfy place to sit is to locate the nearest and cheapest prostitute. Sure, it made things a bit awkward when I was finding a seat at my grandfather's funeral, but thankfully my cousin is quite the tenacious workhorse. Restitutus says, Restituta, take off your tunic please and show us your hairy privates. The fact he specified Harry is cluing me into what this Restitutus fellow's into. Although maybe with how similar Restitutus and Restitutus names are, there could be some familial relationship going on here. Meaning this could be the world's first introduction to Help me, stepbrother. My gluteus maximus is stuck in the stylobate. Watch it, you that shits in this place. May you have Jove's anger if you ignore this. Jove in this context is another name for Jupiter. And while I'm aware the planets are named after Roman gods, I always love to imagine it's the other way around, and that this man was threatening to crash an entire gas giant on the next person to shit on his porch. Shitter. May everything turn out okay so you can leave this place. I posted this one on my Twitter because it might just be the most accurate thing someone has ever said about social media before it even existed. Kie, I hope your hemorrhoids rub together so much that they hurt worse than they ever have before. Damn dude, ancient witchcraft spells were a lot more straightforward back in the day. Apollinaris, the doctor of the Emperor Titus, shat well here. All right, Mr. Prometheus, I think that just about finishes up the stitches you needed on your stomach. Is there anything else I can do for you? Was that? You need to know a good place to take a shit? Well, my friend, be glad you came into the office of Dr. Apollinaris. Because, buddy, I have a shitting spot that's so good, I'm telling everyone about it. Lesbianus, you defecate and you write hello, everyone. <laughs> Lesbianus. Sounds like a fake name in an all-girls gay porn parody of Gladiator, but beyond that, this may be the funniest sentence I've ever read aloud. My lusty son, with how many women have you had sexual relations? Oh, my lusty, lusty son, just how many women have you had sexual relations with? I need to know how many high fives to give you. I could caress Venus's ribs with a stick and whip her buttocks with a switch. She pierced my heart, and I would gladly break her head with a cudgel. Jesus, dude, why don't you go write your Venus slash self-insert fanfiction somewhere better? Like in the pages of a book, so you can publish it and give me a copy to read because this shit's getting pretty hot. Weep, you girls. My penis has given you up. Now it penetrates men's behinds. Goodbye, wondrous femininity. Have you ever gotten pussy so rank it makes you switch teams? Either that or this guy was hitting it so good that God decided to auto-balance him. We two dear men, friends forever, we're here. If you want to know our names, they are Gaius and Aulus. More like Gaius and... Uh, uh, um... Uh... Galus! Theophilus, don't perform oral sex on girls against the city wall like a dog? Yeah, man, don't do it like a dog. Dogs don't really tend to have any technique besides licking wherever the peanut butter is. I've found a lot more success with the bot fly technique. Spit on it for about five minutes and then suck it up with a straw. Salatus the Thoracian makes the girls moan. 
Initially, I misread Thrasian as Thrashian, and thought it was some sort of cool warrior title or a profession that involved challenging animals to bare-knuckle boxing matches, but it turns out it just means this guy's from the Balkans. I can't exactly vouch for the sexual prowess of anyone from the Balkans, but I can tell you that if I ever become a professional wrestler, I am absolutely going to name myself Hugbees the Thrashian. The one who buggers a fire burns his penis. Oh, that's how my penis got burned. If anyone does not believe in Venus, they should gaze at my girlfriend. Normally, this would be a super sweet message since Venus was the goddess of beauty, desire, and fertility. But I'm still thinking about that one guy who wants to whip her buttocks and cave her skull in. Secundus defecated here, and this was written three times on the same wall. Secundus is the only known person in Roman history to attempt the fabled Triple Decker, but unfortunately the outcome of his conquest is lost to the history books. Sometimes I'll shit in the same toilet three times before flushing it in Secundus' honor, except no I don't, that's fucking disgusting. We have pissed in our beds, host. I admit that we shouldn't have done this. If you ask why, there was no potty. God damn, we really are evolving backwards. When these guys can't find a bathroom in their rented rooms, they write a public letter saying, look, I know we shouldn't have done it, but we couldn't find the bathroom. When I drink a little too much iced tea at the Holiday Inn, I'm forced to pay a professional cleaning fee and apologize to that waitress whose mouth I was aiming in. There's many more fun tidbits of ancient Roman shitposting you can look up for yourself online, but I want to close out this video with what I think is the most all-encompassing of this character character study. The one that most reminds us all that back then people were just like we are now. When we look at history, we tend to ignore the small things in favor of the large events, and the people we study are often the powerful, the wealthy, and the influential. But with this final piece of graffiti, we have a constant forever reminder that most people are fucking boring. On April 19th, I made bread. Amazing. A wholly unremarkable act that this person was so proud of that they had to announce the entire thing to the world in the most public and permanent of forms at the time. This fellow was so proud of their accomplishment that they even commemorated the date it happened, and all they did was bake a fucking loaf of bread. Isn't it funny how the human animal so strongly desires attention? Is there really that much of a difference between the ancient nobody baking a loaf of bread and you shit posting another piece of content online? Oh wait, there is. Baking bread actually adds something valuable to society.